Throughout the rich history of baseball, there have been plenty of controversial players. As far as racist ones go, Tris Speaker was rumored to be in the KKK, and there were a ton of guys who hated Jackie Robinson just because of the color of his skin. In today's world, that is just no longer the case with anyone on any team, and for obvious reasons. There are still drug users, domestic abusers, hotheads, and such like that, but it's hard, if not impossible, to actually find a truly racist player on a team. With that being said, there is one man who has a large reputation for being exactly that. Is he relevant anymore? Not at all, but in this video we're going to go over one of if not the most hateful and ignorant players in modern times. At least that's what's agreed upon by many people. At his best, John Rocker was easily one of the best closers in baseball. His success didn't last very long, like at all, but he still had a couple of really solid years nonetheless. In high school, Rocker was a star, throwing three no-hitters and going on to commit to the University of Georgia, but chose pro baseball instead after getting drafted in the 18th round by the Atlanta Braves. From 1994 to 1997, Rocker pretty much just bounced around in the minor leagues until 1998, and that's when he really started to make a name for himself. In 47 appearances out of the Braves' bullpen, Rocker pitched to a 2.13 ERA with 42 strikeouts and 38 innings, helping push Atlanta to the NLCS where they would lose in 6 games to the Padres, but they'd be back. 1999 was probably Rocker's best year, as he'd put up a 2.49 ERA while striking out 104 hitters in 72 and a third innings, helping lead the Braves to a World Series showdown with the New York Yankees before getting swept. Everything seems fine and innocent, right? Well, it was later that offseason in late December when everything changed. During an interview that would be posted on Sports Illustrated, Rocker definitely said some things. After allegations of many verbal incidents with Mets fans that year while on the road, Rocker was asked if he would ever play for the Mets or Yankees, and this was his response. Quote, I would retire first. It's the most hectic, nerve-wracking city. Imagine having to take the train to the ballpark looking like you're riding through Beirut next to some kid with purple hair, next to some queer with AIDS, right next to some dude who just got out of jail for the fourth time, right next to some 20-year-old mom with four kids. It's depressing. End quote. Oh, and he wasn't done. Quote, the biggest thing I don't like about New York are the foreigners. I'm not a very big fan of foreigners. You can walk an entire block in Times Square and not hear anybody speaking English. Asians and Koreans and Vietnamese and Indians and Russians and Spanish people and everything up there. How the hell did they get into this country? End quote. The interview happened while Rocker was driving, and according to interviewer Jeff Perlman, Rocker spat on a Georgia State Route 400 toll machine, mocked Asian women, and referred to his teammate Randall Simon as a fat monkey. The Braves in Major League Baseball acted swiftly on these comments during the interview, suspending him for 14 games, and after having a solid 2000 season, his career pretty much just went downhill. Rocker later ended up meeting with Hank Aaron and former Atlanta Mayor Andrew Young before apologizing for his comments, but he didn't stop. As far as the homosexual population goes, let's just say Rocker is not the biggest fan. In 2002, now with the Rangers, Rocker made the news after yelling slurs toward patrons of a Dallas restaurant at which he was eating at, located in the heavily LGBT populated neighborhood of Oak Lawn, and then four years later in 2006, defended his former teammate Ozzie Guillen after he used a homophobic slur. Rocker later appeared on the show Survivor and proceeded to tell fellow contestant Natalie Anderson that if she was a man, he would knock her teeth out. If you, if you were a man, I would knock your teeth out. Oh you look like God. a man. You can knock me out, bro. Knock me out. As far as steroids went, Rocker didn't even try to hide the fact that he may have taken them. In 2007, Rocker was rumored to have been involved with steroids, and four years later in 2012, he straight up told the entire world he did, responding, Yeah, of course I was. I mean, who was? wasn't. Let's be honest here. Who wasn't? You gotta at least give it to the man that he's straight up. No BS. He tells it how he thinks. Is he ignorant and does he have a ton of hate in him? Oh, absolutely. But I think most would rather someone be straight up with how much of a douchebag they are instead of being fake. But yeah, that definitely doesn't excuse some of the things he said. There are a ton of ignorant players in baseball history. So let me know in the comments who else is just as bad as Rocker, if not worse, and thank you for watching.